So when YouTube is full of this type of content, it is understandable for people to panic. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. But let me state the obvious. High inflation isn't new. Yeah, I thought that was pretty obvious. While inflation has obvious downsides, especially for consumers, and can trigger negative consequences for investors, like rise in interest rates, it is too simplistic to view inflation as simply bad. That's inflation for you. You should see it for what it really is, a necessary and unavoidable feature in macroeconomic cycles, which many assets do well in, and other quality long-term investments actually get cheaper during. That sounds really good. So, first things first. What is inflation? Something bad. At its simplest, it is the increase in the price of goods and services in an economy. Modern economics favours a low and steady rate of inflation at about 2 to 3%, which is the goal that monetary authorities try to maintain. Well, how does that work? While this may seem like a negative thing, it is constantly occurring and is caused by a number of factors, including fluctuations in the real demand for goods and services, changes in supply conditions and monetary policies. And anyone paying attention over the last couple of years will know that all those three things have been happening. He figured we'd blame Russia. Inflation can be a really complex concept to try and understand fully, and people really struggle with it. I guess that rules out the Federal Reserve. I mean paid professionals whose entire job is to track this and try and manage it. And they didn't even solve it, right? But bear in mind that inflation has both positive and negative effects, and differing levels of inflation provides different opportunities to create wealth in. So before we go on to the opportunities, I just want to put things into a little bit of perspective to illustrate how dangerous this sort of clickbait is. Because while recent numbers of inflation are notable increases from what we've seen recently, they're not exactly unheard of. We've seen inflation as high as 20% in the 50s and 15% in the 80s. Here's the key insight. They were amazing times to invest in the S&P 500 and similar broad index funds. Buying shares in the 80s would have gone up nearly 500% over the next 20 years while paying quarterly dividends along the way. So an amazing investment. That sounds like a great investment opportunity. High inflation environments have a lot of negative effects. Don't get me wrong but they do present opportunities. Shares and ETFs tracking the S&P 500 are about 20% cheaper than they were at the start of the year. The bargain of a lifetime! Providing a great opportunity to get into the market at a lower price or to simply get more for the amount you're investing. And if you're playing the long game, which you should be, then this is an obvious upside. You make more money. And of course, some assets like real estate and commodities have historically done really well during high inflation periods further stressing the advantages of having a diversified portfolio. And when it comes to real estate, I've already done a video on the benefits of REITs or actually going after direct property ownership. How convenient. There are pros and cons on both sides, and if you're interested, that video is on my channel. I'd love you to go and have a look at it. But it is important to flag that real estate is vulnerable to the most prominent monetary policy related to inflation, which we're seeing a lot of talk about at the moment, which is rising interest rates. And again, it's just too simplistic to say that's bad or that's good. It's a little bit of both. Why does everything have to be so complicated? Rise interest rates could very well push down demand for purchasing the properties, which could actually lead to a property pullback. In which case, if your equity is in your house and you want to realise that at the time, that is obviously a downside. But if you're someone trying to get into the property market or further invest, that's probably going to present opportunities in the short term at a much better price. You can finally afford to go somewhere good. It's funny because this video is really me going full circle. The first video I ever did on this YouTube platform was done on inflation, and I had to teach myself how to make and edit videos to do it. The only reason I felt so compelled to do that was because of how frustrated I was that the same YouTubers who had always preached long-term thinking, dollar-cost averaging, and good financial advice started making irresponsible, fear-mongering, clickbait content. I was betrayed. And this frustrated me to no ends because the clear reality within their contradictory positions was that their original advice of constantly buying low fee broad index funds to avoid the effects of short-term fluctuations in the market in favor of long-term returns made their more recent clickbait fear mongering irrelevant. They were right the first time. They just made a lot more money for themselves the second time. No way is that depressing. <laughs> Which is why I kind of felt compelled to start this channel. Very clever. Good reason. I used to really enjoy the content these guys were creating, but it became clear over time that they were moving away from what I loved about them towards something that made them more money, which I just happened to find irresponsible. How do you not think that's irresponsible? So the insight here is clear. 
Don't fall for the doom and gloom, but still prepare for hard times ahead by living within your means, eliminating bad debt, having an emergency fund, and diversifying your income. You know, I've heard all this before. You are a broken record. Yes, I know I sound like a broken record. I know you've heard that before. Everyone on YouTube says that, and they say it for a reason. It's just incredibly good advice. Derivative and repetitive. Once these baseline conditions are met, investing during inflation for my average audience member, given their age, doesn't fundamentally change. <gasps> yes! Keep putting money into broad index fund and similar investments. Also keep watching for opportunities. Certain sectors can do very well during periods of high inflation. Property could become more affordable if rising rates causes the property market to pull back. Property? Nobody ever talks about that. Really? <laughs> joking, joking. It's all we talk about. There are always opportunities for those willing to work for them. So just keep an eye out. Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds great. We just need to stay positive. And keep to the plan. And, of course, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching the show this week.